Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Ask a question, get an ANSI. Hi, I'm Chris Perillo. You can see me, right? This, this is me, Chris Perillo. I may or may not look like me, but if you can't tell, you might want to make this video go full screen, however that's possible with however you happen to be viewing this video. I'm streaming my camera live on the internet and using a free program that will automatically take any video source and turn it into ASCII characters. This is live video ASCII art. Now this program is only available, right now at least, for those of you running OS X. And I can almost guarantee that after you see this video, well, maybe even while you're watching this video, you're wondering, how can I get this for my operating system if I am not using OS X? Well, uh, there is open source code available that may or may not be able to do the same thing, but uh, the easiest way to make it work is to get OS X. A and it's free. I mean, not OS X. That's obviously not free. But the program that does this absolutely is. There are quite a few configuration options within this program. ASCII projector. You can still see me, right? Behind, behind the dialog here? Right. So I can change the source between a camera or a file. I can change the texture string as well to different ASCII characters, including international characters. That's right. I can comprise my caricature with, let's say, letters from my name. So we'll go with Chris Per... Wait. L O, because that's that's all the letters in my name, and there I am in full Chris Perillo. Of course, that's not as exciting as the predefined character sets, which of course have been optimized for all sorts of pictures. I can go through and change the texture font. I can increase or decrease the gamma. Now you're wondering well, why would I want to do that? Well, for instance, if I wanted to provide more contrast, aha, or less contrast. Oh, I'm still here not as visible. But somewhere right in the middle gives you enough of an idea of where I am and to be able to still make out features of my face. And in fact, if you squint really hard, you can probably detect my eyebrows. Yeah, my eyebrows are that thick. I can increase or decrease the number of lines or the amount of uh, well, uh, characters on the screen or the font size by increasing it. Of course, there will be less characters, but also less definition. By decreasing the, the font size, I will have increased uh, the amount of definition around me, but unfortunately, because of the way this video is going to work, I'm not going to mess with that, because then you wouldn't be able to tell that these are ASCII characters, regular old characters on the keyboard. I could go and I could change the background from a solid color, and right now it's black, to a foreground image and apply various effects, for instance. There's a foreground image that adds a little bit of shadows and highlighting to me. Now, of course, I've completely taken down the saturation, and if I bump up the saturation, well, that's just not as interesting anymore, is it? Ah, so much better. Yes, and ah, even better. Now, let's say uh, I happen to be a geek who's into the Matrix. I can go into the color palette and change the text to green. That's right. Now, of course, this isn't exactly Matrix style, but this is green, and as Kermit the Frog says, it's just not easy being green. So I'm going right back to white. Plenty of options for you to play with here in the settings. Plenty of uh, fun to be had. And if you're not having fun with your computer, well, then uh, what are you doing with it? I mean, you're probably playing games, and you'd rather play a game than fool around with turning yourself into ASCII characters? Well, fine. That, go ahead. Spend hundreds if not thousands of dollars on a game, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to use this free program and have just as much fun. In fact, I'm, I'm going to say I'm going to have even more fun than you. So uh, go ahead. Do what you want to do. But if you find a, any cool program out there, it may not do the same thing as this, but just a cool, fun, interesting little gadget gizmo program thing that does something you'd never seen possible, never thought possible. Uh, you can email it to me. Well, don't email me the file, just email me a link. And my email address is, well, in ASCII, chris at perillo.com. Chris at perillo.com. That's all it takes to get a hold of me. Oh, there's my screensaver in the background there.
Well, that's kind of cool. I'm sorry, I got sucked in. See, this is what I'm saying. This is the fun that I'm having over here with a free program. Now, of course, you're also welcome to swing by our chat room anytime, day or night. I may not be paying attention at the time, but uh, other people certainly are. If you've got a question, comment, follow-up, whatnot, uh, go ahead, pop in, be nice, be courteous. Trust me, you have our full attention, well, at least some of us, some of the time. Hey, we're open 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. What more do you want from us? We're a community, but we're only a community because of people like yourself. So, feel free to stop by anytime, day or night, 7 days a week, 24 hours a day, at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.